Hey! So today I wanted to talk about the direction the Taylor series is headed in. Recently, YouTube has started featuring my uh, content to people and I've been getting a whole lot of views and a whole lot of amazing comments. Um, I mean, seriously, some of the comments are fantastic. I've been getting so many ideas for what to do. I've been getting ideas and aspects of like tetration that I hadn't even thought of. So this is fantastic. I love that people feel like they can engage with this. So awesome. More importantly, because there's so many people watching now, I want to tell you about the direction that I'm taking the Taylor series in. I'm going to continue doing vlogs, but there's two major goals that I want to do with the Taylor series. The first goal is that I want to make fun videos about titration, about 2048, about all sorts of topics, about all sorts of math things, about applications, about anything that is essentially how math is used in the real world or how math can be used to add to your understanding of something, something interesting, something beautiful, whatever. The other part of this is that I want to create a body of content for people who are learning math. And that content might not be as entertaining as some of the other stuff, although I will continue to use the Taylor series style and my terrible silly humor and all that kind of stuff. But the idea there is that I want them to learn the content in a way they could actually go out and use it, whether it be on a test or whether it be on the job site, whether it be some sort of goal they're trying to accomplish. This content comes in two major flavors the reference content, which is designed for people who have either seen it before or rather just want a very condensed version of that topic. And the second flavor is discovery. In that series, I'm going to be covering the same topics, but in those videos, I'm going to be aiming more for helping people discover this stuff or show what the path might have looked like for the person who was discovering it or inventing it for the first time so that they have a more rich and robust understanding of that topic. When I learned math, one of the best ways that helped me learn was when the math was told as a story. There was a problem that we wanted to solve, some mystery, some trail of clues, and we would use that to try to get to some kind of answer, and often that would involve building a new mathematical construct. So the reference and discovery content are designed for people who want to learn a specific topic. My intention is to swap back and forth between the content videos, both reference and discovery, and the more fun videos. And that's about it for this vlog. I've got a couple more videos in the works, and hopefully I'll be releasing those soon. You'll get to see them, and let me know in the comments below what you want to see. I do read them. Believe me, I've been responding to just about every single one I've gotten, and it takes time. I don't know how long I can keep that up for, but you know, I will do my best, but I will read them all. So if there is something that you want to see, let me know. I wanted to say thank you to all of my patrons. You helped make this thing possible, and thank you to Aragami that's hosting this. Adieu. I haven't done the adieu gag for like ever. People probably don't even know what the adieu gag is. Well, guess what? Adieu. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. If you really like the video, come on over to our Patreon page where you can get involved and see all the cool stuff we're doing.